Hello everybody, Mr. Biola here and welcome back to my humble abode. My amazing new beach house that is completed. It's completely boat. And it's not much of a beach house, let's be honest. This thing is like a manor. It's like a it's like a mansion. It's it's, I mean, it's on the smaller side, but what we've got inside of it, we got some pretty, some pretty nice belongings. I mean, we've got a table that's pretty much bigger than our base. We got a nice pineapple bed. <laughs> for some reason, we got our T-Rex books. We got a bathtub. We got so many things going for us in here, which is why it's completed. We're not, we're not gonna spend any more time on this right now. I think it's time to go out and explore some more of the world. We've spent too much time in here recently, and it's time for us to. Reopen, re-expand our horizons. The only problem is I want to tame some more dinosaurs, but I don't got like I don't have any knockout dinosaurs left. We lost all of our knockout artists. So today we're gonna go and have to find another one. I do like the idea of having a flying knockout dinosaur just because, well, it makes it a little bit easier to knock out other dinosaurs. Um, but unfortunately, all we have is this fella right here which i'm gonna give you guys another opportunity to give me a name for him um if you have any naming suggestions let me know down below in the comments of this video as well uh, okay who's just decided to oh snap okay underwater battle megalodon you better you better be able to defend yourself you better have this buddy um you know what i'll help you out buddy i'll help you out i'll help you out that should put him to sleep that should yeah there he goes there he goes he's asleep um is he a high level is he tameable? What was he? A level 80. Oh, it's kind of tameable. Not today, though. <laughs> Not today. All right. So one of the things I do want to get into pretty soon is um, I want to explore the underwater because I feel like there's a lot down there, even if it's just like collecting oil and silica pearls and that sort of stuff but there's a lot down there that i want to check out the problem is i can't afford a scuba suit or not that i can't afford a scuba suit i need to gain like 10 levels before i can get a scuba suit so we got a little bit longer before we can do anything in that regard um so today we're just going to focus on trying to find ourselves a knockout flying team in fact you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go through our teleporter um i swear i had a backup teleporter or did we already place down our third teleporter we did craft three of them, right? I might just be going crazy. Anyways, let's go head over to our awesome teleporter where it's at least going to put us a little bit closer to some different creatures. In fact, I was kind of hoping that my two missing dinosaurs were out here. Nope, it's just that big old pain in the backside of a stump and dodo rex, unfortunately. So it's all good, baby. It's all good. We're going to head over here. I love the difference in color between the redwood biome and flying out into the real world. It really makes you appreciate the lushness of everything else. And I'm burning up right now. I gotta get some of this armor off. I don't know if it's because I'm like, you know, sitting on a fire dinosaur, if it's just the game being the game, but oh well, it is what it is. Now, can I kill this guy? And if I can, well, oh, how much health has he got? I guess I'm trying to ask. Yo, okay, that's a behemoth. No, we don't want to kill that. Those guys are actually really cool. I want to tame one of them. The behemoth is like a new tier of creature. Um, it's a new tier of some of the dinosaurs. It's like the extra big versions where we kind of want them. We don't want to be killing them. Also, I've just spotted myself. Oh, is that an ice or is that like a legendary? Hold on. I got to check this guy out. Oh, it's a prime. Oh, have I had a prime before? I have had a blue pteranodon before. I don't know if it was a prime or not. How about that one down there? That's a prime. Yeah, we've had one of those ones. One of the ones all the way down here. In fact, there's two there's two robotic stegos on this beach. Interesting. Um, okay, yeah. But we're looking for either lightning or we're looking for poison. And I'm hot again. What is this with this game and making me hot all the time? That looks like a lightning pteranodon. Oh, I could handle one of them. It's a level 540 as well. All right. You're, you're my guy. <gasps> I, didn't, I didn't bring a bowler, did I? No! I didn't bring a bowler. What do I need for a bowler? A little bit of hide. Fiber hide stone thatch. Oh, man. Oh, we could just try and wing it. Oh, we could just, you know, kill a poor little... <laughs> oh! Where'd you come from? Hey, buddy. You guys just flying like that. You scared the bejeebas out of me. 
He's all good. All right. I tried it on still chill. Nice. We can guess there was a little bit of thatch. Why is my... St oh, I, I, I flew through the... um. Yeah, that makes sense. I flew through the uh, the thing. The smoke. And it, like, destroyed my stamina. All right. So, what was it? Stone or was it... I can't even remember. And then we need, like, a little bit of th th uh, fiber. Do we have any fiber around? Don't you go flying away now. I need you. Um, I don't see no fiber around here. Oh, man. It's only ever when I want something that is nowhere to be seen. Just any fiber at all? Oh, gosh. All I need is like a little bush. That's just grass. That's not even a bush. That's what this world is kind of lacking, I think. Just more resources. More fiber. More rocks. More that sort of stuff. Because unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to knock this guy out with a bowler. So we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Just with a couple trank arrows. Nice. What I am going to do, though, is get this guy's mo uh, his damage up a little bit. Because he isn't really inflicting a whole lot of damage. And just to double check, yeah, 15 fibers is all we're missing. So that is a little disappointing. But it's all good. We're going old-fashioned. Let's go. Let's get this bow out. If we're lucky, we can we can just like kind of scare him into the cliffside and then maybe land a... Nah, he's, he's not coming down. Oh, you pest. All right, come over here, my elemental alpha pteranodon. Um, now I've lost him altogether. Oh, there he is. What are you doing up there, buddy? Come down here. What you doing up there? Down here, buddy. Down. Down. Okay, that's a big fall. It's all good. Oh, no. Wow. I'm burning up. I'm burning up right now. Okay, let's get these off. Oh, man. No protection yet again. But our friend here is coming down. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Maybe if I headshot him, it'll do the job. All right, stay there. I can't let you get up to him. No! Where are you going? Stop! No! You got in the way just then, didn't you? You banana. I shot my interradadon. Oh, you passed. Okay, here he comes. Hold on. Round two. Round two. Here we go. One. And is he flying into the cliff? I think he is. Where are you going? No. Where are you going? Come back here. You're not attacking him. We're taming him. All right. Of course, you got to fly in the water. Oh, it's just tradition for Tyrannodons to fly on top of water. Oh, wow. It's going to take like five hours to knock him. Oh, man. We're really going to need that bowler. Why are there no plants around? I definitely can't break this, can I? Nope. It's just grass. It's just grass. So I've been flying around for quite some time, and there is literally no fiber anywhere. Anywhere. Like, there is just none. <clears throat> hey, buddy. Oh, I see you. Oh, fiber! Fiber! Oh, get it into you, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and there's a poison to add it on. We can replace Ivy. Okay, just in the nick of time. Give me them six bowlers right this second. Get that in your hot bar. He's not going to be as high and nice of a level. I don't think it's the other guy. He was like a 540. This one's just a 40. I didn't even want you. I want that. I want my lightning one. Come here. Let's get that lightning fella. There he is. Is that the one? Is that the same one? Is that the same guy? No, that's a level 40. Oh, no. Where's my good one? Where's my high level of 567,000, whatever he is? Where did he go? There he is. There he is. No, that's not him. That's just an ordinary pteranodon. There he is. Straight ahead. Okay. So, I've got to somehow wait for him to come down to land. Whack him with a bowler. And then we now have another knockout artist. Or another Pteranodon that's eventually going to die by our hands, which is a little bit sad to think about, but it's a reality, and we can't, we can't deny it. We can't deny that any Pteranodon within the, our vicinity <laughs> is at danger. It's one of those just unfortunate things that um, the Pteranodons are going to have to deal with, I suppose. I wonder if I should just whack him one. If I should just hit him with my Pteranodon. Might drive him in, drive him to dry land. In fact, hold on a second. We might be okay. Oh, of course you go and turn around. 
Oh, you would, wouldn't you? You would just... Come to dry land, you badana. Come to dry land! Where are you even going? Sit still. Let's try this. Wasn't quite the direction that I was shooting for, but it's gonna have to do. Now he's going that way. <clears throat> oh, here he goes. Oh, he's finally coming down. Yeah. He's a bit tired from flying around all day. All right, buddy. Take that. Yeah, what you gonna do about it, buddy? Cut that in your face. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, hey, no, none of that. None of that. Oh, Zap, he's got me. He's got me! Yeah. Not today, buddy. Not today. I got bigger things to play right here. Bam. That's number two. Pelagornis over there. Gotta beware of that little guy. These guys steal your stuff. In fact, no, it's a Hesper. Oh, I don't think that was the bad one. I don't know. I get mixed up. Oh, he's asleep! <laughs> nice! All right. It only took three arrows. Plus the, uh, the one, the first one a little while ago. But... Uh, we also need some meat, and thankfully, this guy here just presented himself as tribute. Um, you got some arrows on you, thank you very much. Now, give me that. Oh, I thought he was going to have a little bit of prime on him. Oh, well, it is what it is. Now, um, you shouldn't take too long to tame up. We just got to get him hungry. And unfortunately, I don't have anything that's capable of doing that. And I just realized I've, I'm still using a little water skin. We really got to upgrade this to like a canteen. Or even just a water jar. I can't believe we haven't done that yet. Now, guys, I just want to take a minute out of this episode to mention two things that are super important to me. One of those, in case you've missed it, I actually uploaded a vlog a couple of days ago of my time in Sydney, staying at the Ultimate Gaming Hotel Room. Now, if you haven't seen it, please go and check it out and let me know what you think of it. Um, I tried some new filming techniques and stuff like that, and I was really happy with how it all turned out. And number two, I've actually begun uploading videos to my second channel again, which is now known as as Miola's place. If you want to find that, there will be a link in the description of this video. Um, go on, check it out. It's basically variety gaming. So if you miss the face cam, if you want a bit more variety, if you just want more content from me, make sure to head over there, subscribe, watch some of those videos. There's a bunch over there already. And um, by the time this video goes live, there should be a couple of new videos over there too. So I hope to see you guys over there soon. All right, so our boy here is, wow, hold on a second. Wow! Okay, so he's level 540. By the time he is completely tamed up, as long as his taming effectiveness stays at 100%, he is looking to be about a level 809. I think that's going to be the highest level dinosaur that I have. Maybe. Oh, no, no, no. I think my raptors are about on par with that anyways. But this guy here is going to absolutely destroy everything in his path. He's going to be an absolute machine. And nothing's going to stand in our way. But waiting for this guy has got me thinking. One of the things that I think we should uh, we should get onto pretty soon is getting these guys here. Which we have everything we need. We've got the berries. We've got the spoiled meat at home. Um, raw mushrooms. Rare mushrooms, sorry. I'm pretty sure we got some of them at the base as well. And narcotics are pretty easy to come by too. So we should really get these. If you don't know what they do, they just wipe out their hunger. Uh, so you can tame them up really, really fast. It's really, really handy. Makes things nice and quick. Anyways, I'm gonna let this guy tame out and I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, there he goes. We've got ourselves a level, what is he, 809? 809 elemental pteranodon, you absolute machine. All right, you sit down, sit down, buddy, sit down. Oh, oh, he sat right down, what a legend. All right, I wanna take this guy for a ride. In fact, no, maybe we don't take this guy for a ride. Right. Maybe what we do, is this gonna work? If I, if I use my little teleporter here, can I get these guys back home? I don't know if it like works. Oh, I gotta name these things because I don't know where they take me to. Anyways, let's go. Oh, it does, it does, it does a little radius. Okay, I was worried it was just gonna teleport me, but it looks like it's worked for all of our little pteranodons here. Um, I wanna go to, oh! Hold on, so I can actually teleport back to where I last used my, uh, my remote as well. That's awesome. I didn't know that. I thought you could just teleport to the actual teleporters and then you have to fly back. So that's actually a really, really handy thing. Good to know. Good to know. Now, I want to take this guy for a ride because, uh, well, I mean, I'd like to tame something else if we can too. Um, no, that's an alpha saddle. I need a regular saddle. 
Shoo. We should have a couple lying around somewhere in here. I don't know where we've put them, but we've had a lot of <laughs> a lot of unfortunate Tyranodon deaths. So it would be handy. I'm also going to bring one of these with me. The Taming Potion. These things are awesome. And, uh, well, yeah, it drops the fur. It, it basically does what I was... <clears throat> it basically does what I was talking about just a second ago. Um, but it don't look like we've got no Tyranodon saddles. Oh, no, there we go. Fantastic. Nice. All right. Uh, we shouldn't need any of this other stuff right now either. I would love to put my armor on, but it doesn't look like it's going to let me, which is really quite disappointing. But can I use the saddle on you, buddy? What? I can't? Elemental lightning Tyranodon. Hold on. What am I supposed to use? The alpha? Can I use the alpha saddle on you? Oh, wait, hold on. Are these both alpha saddles? Oh, they're both alpha saddles. Oh, I, I, I in fact, do need just a regular one. How do I not just have a... Okay, fine. Fine. Let's just get a regular one then. Get one of these bad boys going. And whenever you're ready, that would be lovely. All right. So... Check out the stats on this guy, by the way. 142,000 health. We've learned that that's not enough to keep all of these guys alive. He's nearly got a thousand percent melee damage, which is ridiculous. And I guess the next thing we got to do is test him out. I do want to knock out this... Oh, you know what? I have one of the cursed... Oh, nah, we'll leave him. We'll leave him. What else do we got around here? We could go and hit up the beach. Um, but I do like this little jungle area. We found some pretty cool raptors and stuff up here. Maybe we'll be able to find something similar. If we're lucky. Alright. This area used to be a lot more heavily populated. What's that directly in front of us? Oh, a Perlovia. Yeah, I did want one of these guys. Oh, no, it's a Megatherium. A Prime Megatherium. Oh! Hey! None of that. You want to die. That's what you get. That's what you get. Thank you very much for the experience. Let me get that movement speed up a little bit. But what I do want to check out is how much Torpor this guy inflicts. Um, our Griffin and our Ivy from... Oh, I forgot about these little bugs. Thanks, guys. <laughs> For another level. All right. Let's get this one onto melee damage. I'd like to get that to a 1,000. In fact, I've got an XP potion at home. I might just throw on this guy at some stage. But I'm still hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. There we go. Okay. I'm going to hit this guy. Let's see how much Torpor we inflict. There we go. How are we looking? All right, it's increasing. Now, I think Ivy and the Griffin did about 150,000, so I'm kind of expecting thereabouts, but this guy's, a, oh no, about 120, and it's dropping, it's dropping fast. All right, let's go. We gotta hit him a few more times, and make sure we don't get hit in return, because this guy is, I don't, well, I don't know how much damage he's gonna inflict, so I wanna play it safe here. Swoop on ya! And so whoop de doopy doo. <laughs> One more for good measure. All right, how are we looking now? All right, okay. We still need a lot more. Okay, I completely mis mis misjudged all of that. Can we just nail them a couple times while we're here? All right, three hits. Yeah, that's it. And another one. I don't know if we're supposed to like space out these hits either. Sometimes you are. Oh, God. That actually inflicted a bit of damage. 20,000 damage! Oh, this guy's an absolute beast! Probably got nothing on our Dodo Rex, but he's still quite a machine. Okay, do not get stuck down there. We are actually popping hits right now. And we've only got... Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's angry. We've only got him... We don't even have him at a million yet. We've got a long way to go. No, okay, that's bad. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. He, he's gonna kill... No! He got really close to killing me. All right, if he were to come up here, I would be in trouble. Okay, not the time to be pooping! Stop pooping! No, 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 no! Okay. Oh, wow. You can't just stop and start pooping. You can't just do that. You can't just do that. Why are you pooping, buddy? This is not the time. This is the time for knocking out a mega... What's whatever this guy? No! Oh god, I got stuck underneath him. I got really scared there for a second. Alright, have we got him to a million? We do. So we're one third of the way there. That's not enough. And why are you pooping so much? 
Don't get stuck down there. We will die in one hit. I'm fairly certain. Oh, he's getting he's getting fast as well. Where's he going? Hey, buddy. Got him. Can we get him to this little clear zone out here or what? He ain't chasing, is he? Where'd you go? There he is. This guy has proven to be a lot tougher than I expected. And a <laughs> bloody Tyrannodon won't stop pooping. Holy moly. So much poop production. That's how it's done. He's running. He's scared. He's fleeing. Oh, we got to be inflicting so much. Oh! Wait. Oh, I thought I killed it. I thought I killed it. Oh, God. What are... Oh, it's me... Oh, oh, it's making nervous. Get, leave me alone. This battle is beyond you, little fellas. Leave me. I'm trying to take out something much tougher. Okay. That was kind of scary for a second. All right, is he running away from me again? He should be. He should be if he knows what's good for him. Where is he? Yeah, he is. Nail him. Nail him. Yes! He turned around. Okay, no, he wants me now. He wants me now. Okay. And we're still pooping. <laughs> we're still pooping. All right. He's nearly at 2 million. Oh, he's killing bugs. I see what's up. So we still got 1 million torpor to inflict. That's like 10 hits. And okay, we got hit, but we're surviving. He did 50,000 damage when he's angry. 50,000 damage. That's a lot of damage. All right. Swoop back. He can't have much left. In fact, let's find out. 2,000, sorry, 2.2, 2, 2.3 million top. Oh. Nope, all right, it's dropping, it's dropping. Don't get stuck down there. Please, to God, do not. All right, he's running. 10 more hits, and we should have this. Come on, go to sleep, you best. Go to sleep, you banana. We might be hitting him too much, I don't know. There we go. 2.5. I think we got to space out our hits a little bit. We're definitely inflicting way too many at once. All right. I get it. Stop pooping. If as soon as I sit down, this guy is going to just sit there and poop for like five minutes, which is why I'm trying to avoid landing at the present point in time. All right. He can't have that much left in him. He just can't. All right. And we hit him just once more. There we go. And maybe another one. There we go. How are we looking? Oh, he's just about at 3 million. He's about to tip over. 3 million topper. That is so much. All right, how much further is he going to go? That's it. That's it. He's dropping. He's dropping. He's dropping. All right, one more hit. One more hit. I repeat, this is not a false warning. Maybe it was. Maybe it's just one more again. Oh, look at all that top ball, baby. All right. This is going to be the last one. 100,000 more top ball. That should be it. That should be it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Oh, and I just realized I have no idea what these guys eat. All right. I'll just let you poop. Okay. You worked for it. You deserve it. In fact, you probably got some levels on you. Only two of them. All right, let's get that melee damage up. Now, um, I really got to replace this uh, spyglass with the binoculars because the binoculars tell you what kind of food this fella eats. Um, unfortunately, I have no idea what he eats. Um, I want to put that on him. But something tells me he's not a meat eater. Um, and I don't know what it is that tells me that. So let's just go and quickly pick up some berries. Just as a little test. And we're also going to have to get some, uh, well, he's not going to die. He's not going to die, but he should stay asleep. All right. Berries. His food has dropped about, okay, not enough. Let's just go and drop this drop food thing and see what happens. He's not a berry eater. 
I repeat, he's not a berry eater. Okay, um, so I guess what I could actually do is teleport. Can I teleport with him? It's worth a shot, right? <laughs> it's worth the shot. I'm gonna teleport home real quick. Okay, he didn't come with us, unfortunately. But do we have any uh, like spare meat lying around? We got 60. I wouldn't mind some prime, but I don't know where that would. I don't know if we. I don't, I don't know if we got any. Um, in here. Okay, we got some. All right. Now, that's not what I was looking for. I want to go back to the last remote location. All right, let's have a look. Oh, I brought both of you here. So. Primate. Oh, uh, oh, he does. Oh, false alarm. Oh, I pooped my pants for a second. I was like, he's going to eat something really weird and obscure that I don't have. And I just wasted all my time. But that's not the case. Because we got ourselves a prime megatherium. Nice. All right. Cool, 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 cool. I want to ride him home. Um, so I'm going to teleport these two guys. I'm probably going to teleport them all, aren't I? Watch this. No, I didn't. Fantastic. Okay. All right. You guys wait there. I'm going back and I'm going to... Oh, he probably needs a saddle. Can I leave my teleporter? Nope. <laughs> I was too slow. Ah, oh, I need a saddle for you. What's about I can't even afford one? Megatherium. Um... Oh, there it is. Do you have a prime saddle or is it just a regular... Okay. All right. Well... Back through the teleporter I go. Oh, you know what? Stuff it. <laughs> Let's just bring you home. Can't leave you out here in the wild. I don't know what's going to happen to you, buddy. All right. How big is he? That's so cool. Oh, legend, legend, legend. All righty. So where do I even craft this thing? Not in here. It's going to be in the smithy, probably. That one right there. Let's get the resources in there. Let's get this thing crafted. And let's take our prime megatherium for a ride. What are your stats looking like, buddy? We're looking at... Yeah, they're actually pretty good. Whoa, 1.3 million health. That's that's insane. Oh, he's actually really fast too. Oh, check it. Get a load of this guy out. He can't jump. Left click. Oh, look at his, like, the belly of his saddle. Left click. Right click's like a bite. Is he good at collecting stuff or not really? All right, he's a thatch. He's a thatch machine. And the right click. More thatch, I suppose. I guess we can use our test dummy. Yo, 40,000 damage. Boom. And the right click, 27. How does it see? Does he have a C attack? No C attack. Oh, whoa. Hold on a second. Ivy? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing out here, mate? What are you doing out here? I thought you were dead! I thought you were gone! How dare you scare me like that! Never, ever, ever scare me like that again! What? What? I don't know what to say right now. I'm quite confused. But, I tell you what. Jump up on my... Nope, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> Jump up on my back. And, um, does that mean that? Is our, is our beautiful Griffin? Is our Griffin still out here somewhere or what? Like, Griffin might be out here somewhere. But I would have no idea how to find out. I don't even know why Ivy's down here. There's no reason Ivy should be down here. Oh, I thought that was Griffin up here for a second. I saw the lightning and got excited. Um, interesting. Very, very interesting. Definitely no griffin up here. Um, down here? I, mean, I definitely had a look down here and definitely not around here. I'm so confused right now. I'm so happy though. I'm a confused, excited, happy, and just confused again. I don't understand. Why this has happened, nor do I care. Look at this poor little, very staticky looking guy. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Ark. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to go ahead and 
Flap your wings on that like button. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And I'll catch you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye. Bye for now.